she would have turned on automatically already. Let me go, let me go flip the switch. F. Hit the power, would you? He's friggin' serious. Come here, Red. I'd say we have a leak, a small one. We're making moonshine. Oh, yeah. Dude! Yeah, I could say. Stop that. Well, you're not done working yet. That was an anchor <laughs> Well, I can't see. I need more light. Yeah, we have a water leak, but we're fixing it. <laughs> see that? A little funnel. Three inch pipe down here. We need showers, so we got to do this. Should we put the doggy uh, bowl, water bowl underneath it? For the dogs? Yeah. <laughs> well, you go for it. And then this is our downspout to catch some room so the water doesn't go in the house. Uh-huh. This is how we do it in New Mexico. <laughs> Fix one leak, we get another one. So this is it. Was he in there? Huh? That's He's all you get. That's all you get. Okay, another day. I'm just trying to get the, the the warp out of this roof. There's some somebody got up there and maybe more than one person or just one big ass person. They got up there and twisted all the rafters and broke them um, from standing on the roof. So anyway, I'm trying to jack it back up. Okay. Something to always be aware of when you're working with old stuff. Um, I've worked in Las Vegas. I've worked in motels there as a maintenance man. Um, I was a maintenance man slash manager of 100 apartments, um, three houses, and a detail shop. And I had blacks, Mexicans, gays, you name it, um, guns, knives, drugs. Okay. And saying drugs, 
This is why you got to be careful. Any furniture you you deal with in a house that you don't know, you got to be aware of this shit. And then junkies have a habit of sticking their needles in rafters. I seen it in my house. Okay, look, stacking up the rope, needle. Yep, so I got to figure out how to get that baby out of there. Because I get stuck. <coughs> Fortunately, it's got the cap on it. I don't know whether it's new or used, but you don't take chances. So be mindful of that when you're working around old shit or if you buy an old house. Um, just be careful. That's the second one I've run across so far. And I heard this guy was a druggie, druggie slash alcohol. Um, the guy that rented this place last. So anyway, there you go. Update. Uh, roof is getting better every minute. Happy trails. some grout because I've been jacking the trailer up and down crack the grout they built this today the, the countertop that was here um, you had the wood burner too close to it caught it on fire and a lot of other things on fire it's dark in here I'm getting ready to grout the floor so the tiles over here and then I got to build a little transition here and a frame around that. There's a spot. There's a good boy, huh? But don't move. And there's sky. There's a beast. Okay, so what I've been working on is putting trim slap boards on most of the most of the, each seam of the siding because they don't put gutters on there. They have a little tiny piece of tin that's supposed to catch the rain and run off. What happens is it, it splits and then wipes everything out. Here's Jacuzzi, it's full trash right now. Sloopy, speed tractor, she took her tent off the chicken coop, so that's what chicken coop looks like now. Oh, the lens were stuck, that's better. So the little trailer's full again. Dump is closed today, so bam, it's gonna have to stay full. The swamp cooler's noisy. So it's the chicken coop. So she um, yesterday went in here and cleaned it all out, got all the excuse me tumbleweeds out, got it all cleaned up. Fire bug, she started a fire. She always brings a hose. So, yeah, that's very cool. Lots of potential. And then this is the garage slash shed. It's full of her stuff. A couple of my tires, I got two more at home. Lots and lots and lots of work. That's the septic tank there. If she didn't know, I don't care. 
I'm getting ready to pack up. I gotta go home, but I'm let my grout set up right now so I can apply it. This is my home, Sloopy. Home lately. Everything's still kind of trashed out, but she cleaned, cleaned the dirt. And then there's a few things here we're going to use for skirting. And there's another pile over there. So um, I've been working underneath. And there's Miss Evelyn. Oh! Ah. There's a siding I put up last week. Some more of that. And there's wags. The wag a butt. Okay. We'll go inside. Here's your bedroom, dark in here. Dark, 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 you can't see nothing. I just got a little day bed. That used to be in a party room in a big house. Okay, that's all you get. Okay, Evelyn's idea, we had all this free carpet. So, she thought it'd be a good idea to put it underneath the skirting. One way to get rid of it. Yep. So we stapled it all on and now we're going to make skirting over the top of it. So that'll be a good wind block. And it's free. If it's free, it's for me. Hey, do you want plastic on it first? <coughs> More plastic? <laughs> I don't know. Later. <laughs>